Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and uh, today we're starting something new. It's called Iter Vehimens Ad Nechem, uh, or Ivan for short, and apparently it stands for A Violent Way to Death. So I, I don't know in what order that is. I don't actually know Latin. I've just kind of been told how some of those things are pronounced, and if I got it wrong, I got it wrong. So. Let's go ahead and just check configuration, player's default name. I do I want to like, I don't know, I guess I could, oh, whoops, button wrong pressing. You go with like, can I do a space? I'll just do that. I, uh, Kenny, that's, that's funny though. Oh, whoa, whoa, buttons. I guess I can just press left to go out of it or any button for that matter. That isn't up, down, or one of these. All right, auto save interval every hundred turns. Wow. Okay. Huh. Contrast to just kind of affect contrast, I guess. Which can go higher than a hundred. Well. Well then, that's a very different contrast I'm used to. Um. Do it. Blah, blah, do it. That'll probably be fine. I'm not going to use full screen mode, so let's just start it up see what's going on and, and since I don't really have any any particular game th music that I have in store we're just gonna use some kind of creepyish sounding music to, to buy the time so anyway let's start reading you couldn't possibly have guessed this day would differ from any other at the end just as always you woke up at dawn and drove off the giant spider resting on your face on your way to work you had some serious trouble avoiding the lions and pythons roaming wild around the village after getting kicked by colony masters for being late you performed your 12-hour routine of climbing trees, gathering bananas, climbing trees, gathering bananas, chasing monkeys that stole the first gathered bananas, carrying bananas to the village, and trying to look happy when real food was distributed. <laughs> Finally, you were about to enjoy your free time by taking a quick dip in the nearby Crocodile Bay. However, at this point something unusual happened. You were summoned to the mansion of Richel de Cos, the viceroy of the colony, and were led directly to him. Richel? I don't know. I have a task for you, citizen, said the viceroy, picking his golden teeth. The market price of bananas has taken a deep dive, and yet the central government is about to raise taxes. I have sent appeals to High Priest Petrus, but received no response. I fear my enemies in Atnam are plotting against me and intercepting my messages before they reach him. That is why you must travel to Atnam with a letter I'll give you and deliver it to Petrus directly. Alas, you somehow have to cross the sea between. Because it's winter, all At Atnamese ships are trapped by ice and I have none. Therefore, you must venture through the small underwater tunnel connecting our islands. It is infested with monsters, but since you have stayed alive here for so long, the trip will surely cause you no trouble. You've never been so happy! According to the mansion's traveling brochures, Atnam is a peaceful but bustling world city on a beautiful snowy fell, surrounded by frozen lakes, glittering in the arctic sun, just like di the diamonds of the imperial treasury. Not that you would believe a word. The point is that tomorrow you can finally forget your home and face the untold adventures ahead. And that was a little startup screen, probably. So here we are. We got some uh, we got some stats for our A and our L, strengths and Dex, Agile, some endurance, some perception, Int, wisdom, charisma. We are a certain size. Maybe that's how much we can hold. And we got an HP of 37. I love the number 37. It is such a great prime number. And we also got uh, 51 gold, which is 17 times 3, which is not prime. But oh well, that happens sometimes. Alright, um, Death Hunter the Neutral Human. You commence your journey to Adnan. Use the direction keys to move. Um, J, uh, excuse me, not J, that's the uh, right bracket to enter the area. And question mark to view other commands, of which there are many. Oh my goodness. There are many, yes, wow. Okay, um, hopefully I don't have to remember too much. There's eat, there's drink, apply. This seems fairly uh, consistent with certain games, so I shouldn't have too much trouble remembering a number of them. Yeah, show weapon skills. Search, 
Search is gonna be important. Sitting, oh boy, I gotta tile running and wielding things. And wizard mode, yeah, wizard mode is also a net hack, basically allows you free access to, to certain things and probably not dying. Uh, it's kind of an exploration mode. You're not experienced in any weapon skill yet. Right? So can I just go back to town? I think. Faster, faster, the Empire wants your bananas. Oh boy. Um, what the heck is that thing? Can I look? Is that button good? Kenny the puppy is standing here. It is tame. Ha, ah, good old Kenny. Banana grower enters the town. Sign here saying Zokul's Wholesale Banana Market. We offer quality bananas straight from the jungle at a bargain price and even some other exotic fruits for more demanding customers. Do you want to open the closed teak door with a round? Nah. Huh. So this is the town, I guess. And that's our little doggy. That's a heart in the upper left-hand corner, by the way. It's, it's not like some weird thing. The home of Huang Ming Pong, the guardian of the native sacred and mysterious sumo fighting techniques. Um, sure, why not? Talk to you, dude. Chat you up. A belt of levitation is really useful for large people. <laughs> wow. And there's a grand stairway down here. Well, your figure is too slender for this sport. Eat a lot more and come back. Okay, so, in other words, I can become a sumo if, um, yes. Oh, there's nothing in here. So, is there anything anywhere to go? How about this sign? The village's new temple of nature. Oh boy. Oh, okay, this screen can move around. All right. This caused me a hostile reaction. Yeah, let's, let's in fact just chat to you. Not chatting to the dog. You cannot contact any god unless you know the right rituals. Alas, I am unable to teach you any, since after the invasion, the Vietnamese forbade us to officially worship any god save Valpurus. I can therefore only help you as a healer. Okay, um... So, was there a button for, like, um, you know, going to shop or something? Issue commands to team members. Well, I guess that includes my dog. But other than that, I don't really know what I could even do. I guess... I guess if I'm hurt, I can try things out. Maybe talk to you. My brother, friend's brother's ex-wife's uncle's old schoolmate inherited some money, bought shares of Deco's Bananas Co. and became a millionaire. I think of it as an example of how anyone can become rich and happy if he tries hard enough. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly the lesson that's learned there. So what's this? Um, just, uh, Kenny the puppy fails to open the door. Mansion of the Viceroy. So that's, um, yeah, that's the Viceroy. So apparently we're like, you know, slave people or something, which sucks. But uh, I think I'm just going to try to go in this tunnel, see what uh, happens. So, I'm going to displace you. And we're already dealing with a carnivorous plant. Alright, um... Nothing special to tell about this carnivorous plant. Alright, so... Pff, I don't know, just kind of smart smacking this thing down a bit, I guess. Or maybe have our dog kind of fight it. Yes. Haha! -ha! A leather whip plus one. In what what direction? What? Uh, corpse of carnivorous plant. Is it P for pickup? No. Darn it! I figured I would figure have gotten this. Oh, G is go. Okay, pickup is comma. All right. And nothing to eat. What's the equip button instead? Um, equipment menu, that's capital E. Sign his name with a capital E. Alright, um, probably right hand. Encrypted scroll, that's probably the... That doesn't cost much. Apparently G's aren't worth a lot? Or maybe the leather whip just happens to be really good for that sort of thing. And we got a carnivorous plant corpse. Go ahead and pick that up. And it's super dark around here. Great. Super dark. I feel like I need a lantern. Um, yes, yeah, so let's attempt to open it. There's a scroll of repair. Well, thank goodness I don't have to explicitly identify all things. Lump of banana flesh. 
Lump of banana flesh. All right, that's probably food. Broken steel war hammer, probably useless. The giant mushroom is apparently, and where did you get to, doggy? Ugh, great. No idea where doggy got to. You feel the corpse of a large spider. Great. So he went this way. Kenny. Kenny. You feel a few items lying here. Okay. Nymph hair gauntlets. Two of them. Oh, maybe that... Just one, please. <laughs> and a horn of bravery. Okay, that happened. Where are you, Kenny? Where are you, Kenny? Great. I do not want to... Uh... Can I open this? Oh, come on. Stop resisting. Let me kick that door down. Boof. There. And now it's not quite as dark. Ta-da. Oh, boy. Giant mushrooms. There's a lantern on the wall. Can I, like... Ha-ha! I have the lantern. Ha-ha! Look at that. Loaf of bread. Getting that loaf of bread. All right. Where is my dog? How long does this lantern last? It's another good question. Cobalt! Cobalt! Panicked! Wow, did I... He didn't die. Where'd he go? It's a very good question. Huh. Well, I still need to find my dog. There's my dog! Oh, man. He is a nice dog. Large spider corpse. And so now I can kind of technically have seen everything. And apparently he went around and... Just kind of dog drool, yeah. Just kind of slobbered all over that mushroom. I guess thanks for killing him for me? I don't know if experience ever happens. But, um... Oh boy, carnivorous plant. Let the dog take care of it. How is my dog looking, by the way? Um, really don't know. But I figure carrying and... A large hedgehog. Oh boy. I think I just lost an arm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kenny the puppy is killed. Wow. Um, I think I'm like dying here. What does that even say? Burdened, panicked, running. I think I lost my arms. I can't really tell. You were too scared. Wow. I am probably too scared. And I'm like dripping of everything. The door resists being closed. Oh great. And I am like totally bleeding myself out here. <laughs> that looks crazy. Um, can I actually like click any of this or inventory W U for use. Um, yes, I is inventory. Where is the in it's like button for things offer apply? You need a usable arm to apply. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. I'm uh I'm bleeding out here. Kinda of bleeding out. Let's see if the healer can um heal me. At least I'm finally calmed down. That's uh it's important. Please oh oh wait. It was over here. Oh boy. Um, can you like be a healer for me? I'm gonna go fig. Oh wait, rest slash heal. How many hit points? All of them. Yes. That didn't really. Oh, and my body's back to normal. I feel tougher. Th <laughs> that that is a lot of blood. That is a lot of blood. Well, my dog's already dead. Kind of sucks. And it looks like I had to drop my whip when I died. So... That also sucks. But at least I still have the, um... The lantern, right? Maybe not. There we go. Got my lantern. I'm just kind of part of me, I guess. Darn it! Friggin' hedgehog... Ah, uh, not this again, huh? I really don't know how to deal with you otherwise. Just gonna try to kill you, I guess. And he's already dead. That super duper figures. I'm just gonna try to heal up. Continue resting. Um, no, because there's a kobold. 
Um, the kobold dies yelling like a tortured hyena. Well, that's a great, great I heard thing going on. Leather helm. Um, wow, that corpse of a kobold is worth so much money. Like, so much money. Look at that. 35997 You can't get those prices anywhere else. All right, let's just heal up. Oh boy, and I'm burdened. Why am I so burdened? What am I carrying? Oh, it's the carnivorous plant corpses, I'm sure. Um, so what do you want to drop? Let's drop one of the, let's drop both of the carnivorous plants and eat. Oh, I can't eat it while it's, let's figure this out. I can't actually eat them? Huh. Maybe I have to cook it, even though it's a plant. You know, sometimes how those things work. So we got a helmet. Let's go ahead and put that on so I don't lose my head. And, um, uh, oh yeah, right, the thing with the whip. Right, the whip. The whip, the whip. Oh, just whip it good. What? It's somewhat difficult to, for you to use this item. Well, you gotta learn sometime. You know? Slash the cobalt! Cobalt panics! And now we're fighting a zombie. That's great. Fighting a zombie. You advanced to skill level, level one with your leather whip covered in blood plus one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, level two! Level three! Huh. The zombie is slain. Again! Huh. Figures. And there's Mr. Panicking Cobalt. Like a tortured hyena. All right, Mithril Sickle, huh. Rather sturdy. Well, I'll keep it around. And uh, I should, left leg feels very agile, okay. My right leg also feels very agile. How many hit points do you, use? so I guess that's of your maximum. That's the idea there, so. What are you, what are you? You're a giant mushroom, a giant hostile mushroom, but you know, I can fight giant mushrooms all the time until they squash. Oh my goodness, large hedgehog. Oh boy. Large hedgehog, please stop being such a, a meanie. Uh, I got skill level 1 with whips, skill level 4 with the particular whip I have. Okay, so, huh, and you're slain now. You were carrying stuff, or you were just being you. Wow. Well, that was, you know, I still haven't understood why I got my my arms back. That was the weirdest thing. Weirdest thing. And I don't know when uh, hunger comes. Is that the couple of mushrooms? Or, yeah, giant mushroom, giant mushroom. Well, let's, uh, can I use the sickle in my other hand? Continue anyway, yes. Uh, let's see if this actually does stuff. Critically slash. Cool. So I think I'm carrying both of those things in my hand. It's hard to tell because this is, you know, one pixel or two pixels for that. Um, yeah. Managed to block the attack. That's cool. That's cool. It's pretty sweet. All right. Uh, we've got a copper spear. Fragile. Yeah, I just don't really feel like using fragile weapons. Doesn't seem like a good idea. So here we are, getting some leather gauntlets. Oh boy. Do I need two? For that matter, why haven't I equipped, like, gauntlets? Nymph hair gauntlets. You know, the nymph hair gauntlet seems clearly better. I wonder... go. Can I, like, go... no. What was the button for go some up? Oh. Okay, there we go. And then we got the nymph hair gauntlet. Okay, so now we do this, and then we do, say, equip that, and uh, go ahead and drop the other gauntlets, I guess. Both of them, yes, please. No need for them, I'm wearing nymph hair gauntlets that were, uh, you know, created by nymphs plucking their hair out. 
one by one until it finally turned into a goblin. We got a bone. A bone is a miscellaneous. Whatever. Um, you try to step, but your right arm sticks to it. Unable to escape. You fail. Oh boy. You know that 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 didn't seem good what just happened. Large spiders, unable to escape. We tear down the web and we threw up because I'm poisoned. Great. How do I unpoison? Very good question. How do I unpoison? Okay, I'm unpoisoned. Yay! Yeah, I'll just try to heal all the way up. Ta-da! So, there's a lot of webs here. I don't see any, uh, spiders. I figured I'd just kind of, like, try to get through here. <laughs> At least I'm tearing down these webs over time. Free myself! Yeah, there's nothing in here, as far as I can tell. Okay. I wonder if I became more... Oh, this is still the same area. <laughs> still the same, okay. Is there M for message buffer? I was... Message history, capital M. There we go. That, uh, okay, there we go. So is there anything else going on in there? Just level whips, things, st stuffs happening. No, nothing important. Why would it ever be something important? Oh boy, carnivorous plant. Uh, cool, so carrying both does in fact help me out. Uh, although I think right now the the sickle's kind of being a... Uh, there's a stairway. So this is level one so far. Phew, wow. Uh, let's try to clear it. What are you? What the heck are you guys? Giant mushroom. You're also a giant mushroom. But it seems like some of them are moving, or there's just a bazillion of you. Um, wait, what? what is this? This is all just blood? Wow, I just certainly bled all over the floor there. Iron shield! Get that iron shield. And I'm getting hungry, so... What happened to my other food? Uh, I guess I can just eat the loaf of bread. Okay, um, and I'm carrying two lanterns, what do you know? All right, uh, buh, buh, buh. iron shield, yes, definitely want iron shield in my left hand. Uh, there we go. Oh, I have much trouble? Yeah, I'm sure that was the case, but uh, one day I will learn to use it properly. So, in fact, I might just kind of want to take hits, or, you know, attempt to, to be hit. Man, he just keeps missing. It's kind of whatever, man. Guess I'll have to learn the hard way against difficult enemies. Oh, yeah. Slash giant mushroom. Steel bear trap. Huh. It's gotta be worth something. Several items, including a ruined nymph hair whip. Whip. Yes. And then we got some uh, leather boots. Get those. And the severed right leg of a zombie. Yes. That's how that goes. Um, then let's equip those boots. So you actually have to have separate boots. Huh. Just like you have separate gauntlets and rings and... Yeah. Huh. Cool beans. I'm liking this game already. It is... Not needlessly complex, but it's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. Alright, um... So we got the iron mace inaccurate. Uh, I should probably learn with one hand. You know what? Friggin' I'll learn to use it with one hand. I will learn to use it with one hand. Okay, we got a steel helm. Go ahead and equip that sucker. Wow, that is enormous. Better than, than what I had before. <laughs> enormous better! Door resists. Door resists. Finally it opened. And we got a pickaxe. Oh boy. I should probably drop some of these things that I'm not really using. Um, the leather whip plus one was probably just for accuracy and I don't really need it. And the rest I think's good. The rest I think's... Yeah, I'm starting to think the G's are actually weight in terms of grams and not gold. Yes, that would make total sense why corpses um, were, were that 
or that much. Um, so yeah, I think that's the whole first floor, and um, I think that's a good place to stop, quite frankly. This game is so very unusual, but um, yeah, so let's just... Uh... Oh, there's also an iron halberd. Oh, and it makes me burned. Great. Um, halberd, mace, eh, drop it. Alright then, so, I guess we'll just leave it at that. Um, can I eat you? Can I eat you now? No. Okay, well anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing uh, Ivan. I'm just gonna call it that, so, yeah. <laughs> and join me next time when we get to the second floor and hopefully don't die of starvation. So yeah, until then. Keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.